it's, it's not someone you look up to, that's for sure. The University of Alabama says it had no part in offering white nationalist Jared Taylor the chance to speak on campus next month. UA tells me the group Students for America First invited Taylor, who is the editor of American Renaissance Magazine. It's kind of disappointing that a student group would invite somebody who's a known white supremacist. Initially, I'm very shocked about it. Um, I understand the premise behind it, but I'm still a little shocked that they actually went through with the invitation. Everyone's equal. That's just how I've, I was raised. I grew up that way. Taylor is set to speak on the evening of April 19th at the Russell Hall Auditorium on campus. In a statement, University President Stuart Bell says, as a public university, the law and our commitment to free speech do not allow us to refuse a speaker based on the content of speech. Bell goes on to say the best way to demonstrate distaste for hateful dialogue is not to give it an audience. We have the power as students and as part of the community to say that this isn't okay and to just not give them any attention. Taylor's visit comes as a number of student groups are pushing to make the UA campus more diverse and inclusive. It's kind of disappointing that we're trying to work so hard and they're just pushing us back and setting us back further than we need to be. I attempted to reach members of Students for America First by phone and email today, but did not hear back. Meantime, the university is not ready to say how it plans to handle security for the event. In Tuscaloosa, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.